So, in this video we will tell you how to set up NVIDIA graphics card for Tarkov. With these settings, you can expect to get the best possible performance out of your graphics card that you can. However, keep in mind that your actual in-game settings will have a huge impact on performance and you'll have to figure that one out for yourself. In the first part of this video, we have analyzed in detail how to properly configure the graphics in Tarkov to get the maximum FPS in the game. In this video, we tell you how to set up NVIDIA video card for Tarkov. So watch this video to the end and subscribe to the channel. NVIDIA Drivers First, you've gotta start by installing the drivers in the first place, if you already haven't, go to the driver download page. Once on the driver page, simply select your product type and series, then find your graphics card on the product list. Then select the operating system you're using, and set the driver type to standard. Finally, select game ready driver as your download type and hit search. Now that you've reached the download page, hit download and follow the Jeffers experience installation. 3D settings. For the first setting, you'll want to start under 3D settings, adjust image settings with preview and click use my preference emphasizing. Then set the slider to performance. Then click apply. After clicking apply, under the same tab select use the advanced 3D image settings and hit apply again. Heading over to manage 3D settings now, we're going to change a couple of these, but leave most of them default. The first setting we'll check here is the CUDA GPUs. Just double click the word all and make sure that your main graphics card is the one checked, then click OK. This next setting is a little iffy, and you may or may not have it, but just in case you don't see it on your control panel you can ignore this step. Under maximum pre-rendered frames select 1. If you have a much older computer, you may want to drop it down to 3 or 4. Next, we have power management mode. Once again, click and scroll to prefer maximum performance then select it. For the preferred refresh rate, set it to the highest available setting. Set texture filtering quality to high performance. In our final setting, threaded optimization, just turn it on. All of the 3D settings are in place, now click apply to make sure they all, well, apply. Display. Under display, change resolution, all you want to do is make sure your refresh rate is properly set to the maximum allowed, in my case 60Hz. Then select your preferred resolution. Moving on to adjust desktop color settings, it's more of a personal preference thing. You can leave the default selection that allows other applications, such as your monitor, to control the settings. Or select use NVIDIA settings to customize via the control panel. From here you can adjust and fine-tune the settings until you find a configuration that works for you. We suggest using an HD landscape image as your desktop background as you adjust. Also, remember to hit apply to save your settings once you finish video. Here, again, we have some more optional settings. Though these aren't really for gaming. These settings are more for getting the best viewing experience out of videos and movies. Under color, you have an array of settings to play with, so just as with the desktop color settings you can adjust to your liking. The gamma settings are here if you really think you need them, but we don't suggest partaking. Here at the end, we have the advanced settings for dynamic range. This setting just allows you to choose the color range for your monitor. Movies will benefit from the full range, as with limited produces lower quality shadows and highlights. Well, that's all for me, I hope I helped you. If yes, then I ask you to subscribe to the channel and like this video. This inspires me to create new videos for you. See you soon, friends.